Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In the following three videos, I'll show you road and oval new content in iRacing as of season 3 of 2024. The Chevrolet Corvette GT3R, the Ford Mustang GT3, the free track Circuito de Navarra and the paid circuit Zeshen Ring. Zeshen Ring. Zeshen Ring. Zeshen Ring. I don't know. I start with the Ford Mustang GT3 as I think people wait for this the most. And I'll take it for a spin around Zeshen Ring. The Corvette will be next on the free track Navarra. And then the new oval track and the new cars. So this track is in Germany, it has 13 corners and it's 3.67 kilometers long. Best time with the Mustang uh, on it was 1.27.3, but I'm sure <laughs> this is highly irrelevant as I don't know what I'm doing. Comment below if you think the best time on this will be 10 seconds less or even more. So. Decent time will be 1.15, I believe. Knowing how well I do on a track I never drove before, and yeah, with a new car. Anyway, the track is pretty hard, the first part at least. The first corner is almost 180 degrees, followed by a wide corner, then another tight one and so on. I feel this section is not that great for the Mustang, uh, with the default setup at least, as you need to play with the throttle quite a bit, and often brake while slightly turning. After corner 3 though, I feel it gets a bit easier, but you need the perfect line to maximize the speed through corners 4 to 8. 9, 10 and 11 feel they are flat out, nothing special and it's straightforward from here. The new tracks overall are pretty cool, they are up to iRacing's 2024 standard. 3D curbs, better foliage, they're still not up to the ACC level but it's better on the new tracks for sure. Grass on the tracks, better texture blending, better decals, I mean I didn't see any stretched out UVs on the new tracks and the rubber on the tracks and curbs are painting a pretty clear and nice racing line for you to follow. Now for the fun part. This is where I pushed my limited knowledge of this track and car like uh, you just pushed that subscribe button. Oh, <laughs> you didn't? Yeah, me neither. Now let's enjoy the sounds of this monster. I'll shut up.
The cars have uh, pretty low texture decals and you can even see the compression of the textures here and there. But you don't drive with the camera in this position, am I right? As for the handling of the Mustang, this car feels very oversteer to me. It's pretty hard to keep it moving forward if you accelerate or brake without having perfectly straight wheels. I know this is normal, but it feels accentuated in this car. I didn't have these issues driving the Corvette, for example. Stay tuned, I'll upload that video next. Until next time, thank you for watching, take care and see ya.